Good morning guys, gals, whoever's watching this. Got up this morning, said I was going to change my water pump. Hopefully this can help uh, some folks. So I already got started by, I took my lower radiator hose off, drained the uh, coolant into my oil pan down there. So let's get started. But I laid out some of the stuff. The bare bones minimum you'll need for this job is a water pump. Um, you can get this brand of water pump off of uh, Amazon or Rock Auto or at your local part, one of your local parts stores. It's the same brand that Toyota would use in the truck and it comes with new studs which you'll find out that you'll probably need. You'll need the gasket which comes with the water pump. You'll need uh, some pliers to get your hose clamps off. 12 millimeter wrench uh, and I actually use a hammer too to break the nuts off the fan so I don't have to try to hold the fan. I just put the box end on and I'll show you here in a second. I take, get a couple 12 millimeter sockets you can see I have two different lengths here and then some 14 millimeter sockets you see I also have some there a variety of extensions and I just have a couple ratchets also you'll need coolant that's the bare minimum that you'll need other thing you can do is do a thermostat change and then you'll need coffee or beer depending on what time of day it is so I guess we'll get started here here I'm not gonna do this all like the factory service manual I've taken this fan out enough times that I usually can get it out without banging the fan against the radiator. So what I usually do is I'll leave the shroud in. I'll loosen these 12 millimeter nuts right here on the studs. That's up to you. What you can do is take the shroud out with the fan. So you loosen the fan up. You take the shroud off as well. You unhook this hose here and this hose here. And that will allow you to just pull the shroud and the fan out at the same time. I'm going to try not to do that. And then the other tip is, is once you do that and you get it out, what I used to do is cut a piece of cardboard here and just fit it in there and just kind of tape it on there so that I wouldn't bang up my radiator fins. Here, this is my 12 millimeter wrench on the fan nuts here. I use uh, the box end because this is just the best way to not strip them out. What you do is when you're turning these, you'll find out that the fan and all the pulleys want to move or, um, or the pulley wants to move without with the belts and you can't turn the nuts. So what I do is I take a hammer I put the box end on there, I hold it with one hand, and then I just, I hit the other end of the wrench here and it usually breaks them free. Um, so that's what I did. Put your box end wrench on there, bang the end of the, the wrench while you're holding the wrench, and it should break it free, and then just turn the pulley and get to the next uh, nut. Okay, now that you got your fan nuts loose off the water pump, right here we're looking down towards the alternator, we're going to want to loosen the belt. So, there are two bolts in here that you're going to want to mess with. One is uh, the one that allows the alternator to move you know, up and down. Um, it's just the pinch point for it. And then the other one, which this is really hard to show you, but let's see if I can see it from over here. Well, you can see the alternator down there. And if you go to the bottom, let's see if my finger will show, kind of highlight it. You can see right where my finger's pointing. There's, that's the adjustment bolt. So what you can do is turn that until you get enough slack on the alternator. Loosen that first bolt, turn that so that there's a bunch of slack on it, and then you can move the alternator in. And that should give you enough slack on the belts to pull the belt off. All right, there you can see I have my ratchet on that 14. It's a 14 millimeter bolt. And I'm just gonna loosen it enough to where it takes a little bit of tension off the alternator there. And then we're going to go to that adjustment bolt. And I find that it's just easier to get to that bolt. Okay, so the adjustment bolt has the one bolt I showed you. And it also has a lockdown. What I believe is a lockdown bolt. If you can see right where my finger's pointing. There's a bolt down there that you can move to to loosen it up. Next what you want to do is take your pliers. And you're going to remove this hose here. Getting this hose out of the way kind of gives you a little bit more room to just get your hands in there too mess with the alternator bolts. Okay, so we've taken our radiator hose off. So we have our one bolt down here to loosen, our one bolt up here to loosen. And you just need to break break the tension on this one. And then we have our adjustment bolt right here. There you can see at the tip of my ratchet there. Loosen those two other bolts and then loosen this tension bolt here and we should get the fan belts loose enough to get off. Okay, we've got our uh, alternator loosened up down here. We got our belts loose. We've got our nuts off our studs here. So let's start taking stuff off. And we're gonna start with our fan here. You'll see that once they're, once it's off the studs, you can just work it off, work it off here. And then I'm gonna work it out. I'm gonna need two hands to do this, but I'm gonna work it out this way. Uh, that's how I found in the past that I can um, 
get it out of here without taking the shroud out. You can see I got the fan out here. Hey guys, my son has just woken up and he's come to help me. Now we have the uh, fan out and we're going to take, you know, since you already got the studs off here, Whoa. you can just take this pulley off here. Dad, what's this broken part right here? What is it? Look. Oh yeah, everything on this truck is broken, buddy. But it's okay, it keeps going for some reason. And okay, so we got our pulley off here. Um, you can just lean it down here on something. Okay, so anyway, now you can see we can get right to our water pump here. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to remove our bolts here. There's several of them. If we look on the, or the, the new one, there are six bolts on the water pump. See them around there? So we'll take those out. Uh, we have our 12 millimeters there. So we'll take six 12 millimeter bolts out. And you can see this job is actually pretty easy. The hardest part, is, I think, is getting the alternator loose. And the next part, hardest part is getting the fan off. So, Okay, so we've loosened the water pump. You'll notice that there are two studs here. They're not all bolts. So these are. This is a nut, and then the one directly on the bottom is a nut as well. And then some of the bolts are different lengths. So what I did is I was taking them out. Um, I, I put the two the two nuts for the studs here. But over here on the water pump, since some of the bolts are different lengths, the, si the ones on the right hand side of the pump are longer than the ones on the left hand side of the pump. So I just threw them in the new pump just so I knew where they're at. So I don't accidentally put one in uh, in the wrong spot. And, spend a couple more minutes than I want to backing them out. So you can pull the pump out and you can see it's pretty easy. Um, that's the whole job right there. You just do everything in reverse order to put it back together. Just clean up the edges here on your water pump. So I'll clean up the surface here and then you get your gasket. And it's not hard. Just uh, step after step. And this is a pretty simple process. You probably don't want to pay anyone to do this because this is really not very much money to do yourself. Put your gasket on there, we'll get our water pump. So you remember where your long bolts go. If you want, you can clean these suckers up. Mine look pretty good. I'll get the water pump on the studs here. Uh, just remember where your bolts go. The short ones on the left, long ones on the right. Make sure you got everything in the right orientation. And you just align it on those studs. That makes it kind of easy for you. Put it in place. Oh, one thing you'll notice is, see that stud right there has a little lip on it? This top hole, that's where it'll fit in. But as long as you line it up right, once you put the uh, the nut on it, it will, it will cinch it down into that hole there. Okay, the water pumps in. Make sure you put some Loctite on all the bolts and nuts and uh, torque them down. Um, one thing I didn't, I probably should have done while it was off was put these studs in. Um, you'll put the short end into the uh, flange here, into the pulley area here. Um, put Loctite on those two, and I would put the red Loctite, and that'll keep...